Hello everyone, my name is Cobras and welcome to Inanimate Alice, Episode 1, China. This is a very, very old game, I guess. This is actually, I think, for school. But it's like a puzzle thing where it's like a story and then there's like, as you see, this story uses images, text, and sound. Turn on the sound of your computer, blah, blah, blah. And it takes about five minutes. Let's go. Okay. Am I sound up? My sound better be up. My name is Alice. I'm eight years old. My dad was supposed to be home from his trip two days ago. We've been waiting for him, for him to phone. He goes by himself in his Jeep while mom and I stay at base camp. Far up north. My dad has a lot of equipment and he uses it uh, to look for oil. Mom says that mom says John knows what he's doing. He'll be back soon. That's that's what she said yesterday and the day before, but not today. He's lit. Alright. What's that? My mom and I stay at base camp. My house is lit, very lit. Oh my eye. My mom, my mom, she's called me, paints and I draw. We do, we do my school lessons. And I play backsy, back, backside, backside, backsy, back. I don't know, backsy. Hello, Alice. What's up? Wait. Where? Wait. Oh, this is Brad. What's up, Brad? <laughs> You're chill. But today we are in our Jeep and Jeep, and we're going. We are going to look for my dad. The Jeep has giant wheels and has a big satellite transmitter on the roof. And you can drive pretty fast in it, even though there's no roads. Okay, it's a weird car. It's bumpy though, and when I turn on my player, it registers all the new locations and goes a little wild. Maybe it'll help us find my dad. What the frick? <laughs> Woo! Wait, wait, my... Mom says keep going to look for wildflowers we haven't seen before, but she's driving too fast for that. So whenever I see a flower, I didn't even get to read that all. We drive for a long time. We've never done this before. Gone looking for my dad. Gone to look for my dad. Things I'd like to be, things I'd like to be doing. Skateboarding, Just going swim, going swim out of pool with my friend and without my mom. Why? Playing backsy with a friend online or off, I don't care, and sharing the cheats. What's backsy? Playing with the dog, lit. Maybe, though that may, might be scary because we don't have a dog and I've never played with one before. Okay. In the middle of my list, mom interrupts me. interrupts me. She tells me to turn off my player. It's annoying her. She is frightened. I am frightened too. It's getting darker. The sky is humming. Sky hums up, hums up here. I don't know why, as though it's electronic. We keep driving, and it gets darker and darker, and the Jeep's headlamps don't make any difference at all. I wish I could turn on my player and look at the drawing of Brad I made earlier, but I'm not allowed. So I look out the window, though there's nothing to see. 
things I would do if we lived in a town. Have a bike. To, to the Simna. See Baxi movie in real playtime? Okay. There's Brad. Then when I hear Brad's voice in my head and he says, go that way. And so I say to my mom, go that way. And she does. That's scary. And we see my dad. <gasps> Yay. We see his Jeep and my mom shouts, where is he, where is he? Then I spot him running down the hill next to his Jeep, waving the torch, and he's jumping up and down as though he's afraid we might drive past him without seeing. And then we wait, and then we reach him. He tells us that his Jeep broke down and there's no signal here, not for miles around. He walked and walked trying to find one, but he couldn't. How strange is that? And it's kind of a miracle we found him, that my mom must have instincts of a bloodhound and that reminds me, so can I say, can I have a dog? And they both laugh and smile, but I know they'll say no. We travel eh, too much to have a dog. We're always on the move, always. And we charge up Daddy's Jeep, and before we set out to convey, I say, let's go to a restaurant to celebrate, which is kind of like saying, can I have a dog? Only even less likely to happen. And they both look at me, they both kind of look sad, they know at least there isn't a restaurant to be found for at least 500 kilometers in any direction. Okay, says my mom, that's a great idea. We'll go out for supper to celebrate, and I wonder what she means. Written and produced by Kaylee Pullinger and Chris Joseph from an original idea from Ian Harper, Brad, illustrations from BNA. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was kind of like weird, kind of a game, but it was kind of like a story more than a game. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Stay smart.